Ah, he jumped on me. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Ah, he's jumping all over. Hey guys, I'm Zachary Gray, and do you hear that right now? There are frogs everywhere out tonight. So we are really hoping to find some frogs. They're going to be up in trees and on the banks. Lots of different frogs are actually nocturnal, and that means they come out at night. So looking for them at night is the best time to find them. Let's go. Check this out. Got a little tree frog here. Come here, buddy. All right. Look at that. That is a green tree frog. Look at that. He is beautiful. Wow, that is awesome. Now these little green tree frogs, they're an arboreal species of tree frog. And that means they're up in these trees at night hunting for insects. They love to eat little moths, little beetles, and all kinds of little stuff up in trees. In fact, we have a lot of termites going around right now. So that's something that they absolutely love to eat. Oh, watch out. Now you can see they've got a really good jump. Come here, buddy. All right. There we go. Now i got a good grip on him. Look at those little feet. They've got little padded feet, and they can grip onto anything. They can grip onto leaves, trees, branches. In fact, you can actually find them around your house a lot of the times, too. They really love living around buildings because the lights at night draw in bugs, and that's what they love to eat. They love to eat little bugs. Now they have amazing eyesight. They can see things really well at night. Look at that. He's got big buggy eyes right on the top of his head. And normally they won't be too far from a water source. We're right next to a little canal. And if he ever gets a little bit dry, he can always go to that canal if it doesn't rain. But oftentimes they'll live in areas that are damp and moist and they won't even need to go to the water at night. Oh, and here's another amazing thing. See how he's getting all puffed up, all bloated up? He's actually puffing up with air. He thinks I'm going to eat him. He thinks I'm going to eat him, so he's puffing up with air and trying to get big. And that will actually work on snakes, a little ribbon snake or a garter snake. If something tries to eat him, then it'll actually puff up, and they may not be able to eat him because of how big he is after that. Now, these little tree frogs are very common here. In fact, a lot of tree frog species are very common. But here in North America, we don't have that many tree frogs. We have gray tree frogs and green tree frogs and a couple others that I'm not very familiar with. But in South America, there's a very famous tree frog called the red-eyed tree frog. And it's a really popular pet, and you'll see them on animal magazines and stuff. And it's just because they're very photogenic. But I think the American green tree frog is just as amazing. They have these beautiful golden and black eyes and this white stripe that runs along the entire body. Now you can see his neck is actually, you know, he's breathing kind of heavy right now. He's a little bit scared. But what they'll actually do, you can actually hear frogs calling right now. And when they're calling, you'll see their whole neck puff up. And they'll make that little rrrr, rrrr sound. These little green tree frogs. Well, oh, it's okay, buddy. Yeah, it's okay. Now, I had to make sure my hands were a little bit moist before handling them. They are an amphibian, and they do absorb stuff through their skin. Now, these little green tree frogs, they're really cute. And this is actually a full-grown American green tree frog. Let me kneel down real quick so that he doesn't jump. I've been standing up the whole time. Look at you, buddy. Hello. Now, they've got a really, really cool pattern on them really pretty and they'll actually sometimes have really cool blotching little brown blotching look at him hey buddy how are you doing yeah he's so cute and they're so funny looking and they're really good to have around you don't want to remove these guys from your house and I don't know why anyone would want to remove these little guys but they're really helpful to keep insects out and they're just really nice to have around and they are very sweet little guys look at his little face he's so cute jumped on me. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Ah! <laughs> He's jumping all over. Yeah, I just got a little bit more water and put it on him, him and my hands, and he became a little bit more active when I did that. Let me get him by the back feet again. All right, there we go. Good boy. These are such an amazing little frog, such a little amazing amphibian, and they're very, very fragile. Amphibians are some of the most fragile animals on the planet and chemicals and all kinds of other little fertilizers. Stuff kills amphibians easier than any other animal. So it's really important that we're aware of stuff that we're putting around where amphibians live into water streams because if we're not careful it can really hurt where they live. 
Now you can see they have super long legs for being such a small little animal. Look at that. Let me just pull one out, bud. Being very gentle. Just get this one. They have super long legs, and they're actually kind of see-through, which is something interesting. They have very long, long legs, and they're very see-through. You can see they have that little nice bright white belly, and that makes them pretty easy to spot at night. And they also have a little bit of webbing in between their feet, and they can swim pretty good if they ever end up in the water. They have a good swimming ability. And look at it. All their fingers have little sticky pads on the end. And that's how they grip onto stuff so good. It's very cool. Now just like all frogs, these guys start off as tadpoles. And they actually lay a lot of eggs and they all hatch right in the water. And that's another reason they live right by the water. And they are absolutely micro tadpoles. And when they, are, when they turn into a frog, they're just little bitty green frogs. And this is actually a full grown American green tree frog. Look at that. He is so cute. All right, well, you have hung out for a while with us, and I think he is ready to go. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like, and I will see you guys next time. All right, let's get you back on your tree. Here you go, bud.